I'm Michael Jones, and I specialize in equipment software and GPS. I'm going to be walking you through a brief overview of our dispatching solution. My goal is to help you understand what HCSS Dispatcher is and how it can help improve your operations. Our customers tend to reach out to us looking at HCSS Dispatcher for several reasons. To better track which equipment is at what specific location, to plan for a job site's needs in advance and schedule the moves, or to help minimize your equipment rentals. The Dispatcher is an electronic scheduler and locator that replaces your magnet board. It will improve your current processes and increase visibility across your company outside of the Dispatcher position. I don't want you to think of the Dispatcher as something that's only used to move your equipment. This is going to help you allocate resources as well as your small tools. So let's get down to the basics. What equipment is at what job site? Or even better, what resources do I have where? Well, within HCSS Dispatcher, we have three different views. We have what we call the magnet board, which is what we're looking at now, a map view, and a planner view. I'll touch on those in just a couple minutes. Looking at this, we can see we have separate locations and individual cells. These locations can be job sites, they can be my yard where my equipment rests, they can be the main office, or even shops where I send my equipment when it's down for repair. Now let's dive into a specific job site, for instance the Hanbury job. Here I can easily see who my crew lead is and the crew that's under him. I've got Ray and his Ford, as well as Mike, Shane, Sean, Marion, and anybody under him. If I need to move him and his crew, I simply check the box and it selects the entire group. Now I just want to move them to the 1960 job. Simply select the cell and it moves them over instantly. What happens if I need to plan in advance? Maybe I need to move Mike Doyle away from the 1960 job to the Tomball job in about two weeks. Well again, I simply click the boxes that I need, but this time I'm gonna click the header of the job site. It's gonna bring up a job and where they're gonna to move to and ask me when. Well, like I said, I don't need him next week or the week after, but then I need him on the 22nd. And I'm actually gonna need him there for five days. Now nothing happened on screen, but what is going to occur is on the day of the move, it's gonna move automatically. So now that I've scheduled a move for a later date, to dispatch my drivers, I simply go to the date that I've selected, and I can see the equipment that needs to be moved, as well as my drivers. Just drag and drop who is going to move what piece of equipment, and that's how you assign it. Later, I can actually send them their responsibilities for the day, that way they know where they need to go to pick up the equipment and where they need to move it to. Now that we've started playing around with scheduling equipment and resources in the future, I want to explain something very simple. It's easy to see what equipment is available and what equipment is not just by simply looking at the color. Currently we have black as unavailable, blue is available, and a line through it actually means the equipment is down and it needs repairs. Knowing this, I can make my moves, but the dispatcher will actually let me know and notify me of any schedule conflicts. Secondly, I can move over to the planner view and see any single piece of equipment's schedule simply by clicking on that equipment and seeing it drawn out. After looking at all of this, you can easily see where equipment is, if it is scheduled out or available for a move, and it's easy to see this is going to help a company cut down on rental expenses. Because now when you need a specific piece of equipment, you'll easily be able to know if it's available for a move and if I can move it to another job site for use. Now that I've shown you how to make those moves, I wanna talk about some of the power that you're gonna receive within the reporting. I showed you how to schedule your dispatch drivers based on the date. Again, I can print this list out and have it automatically sent over to my drivers on a daily basis. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Now that I'm looking at a report, I can easily see I have Kingrass, my driver, moving a Caterpillar from the clay job to the Tomball job. 
again, Rick and the job and the moves that he needs to make. And Tem, the two jobs that he needs to go to and make those moves. The last thing I really want to talk to you about are reports. Within HGSS Dispatcher, you have plenty of reporting options, and this is where you're really going to see return on investment. It's going to increase your operations and the day that your dispatcher has, as well as anybody from a higher level or anybody from outside of the dispatch position can see what they need to see based on their equipment, whether it's maintenance, schedules, resources, or any other information. You would come to this screen and select the report you want to run and simply print it out to a PDF and email it from there. All of this information is available within HCSS Dispatcher, but keep in mind there are many more benefits that I've not covered with this software. Also, it will integrate with other HCSS software including Heavy Job, HCSS Safety, Equipment 360, Fueler Plus, and HCSS GPS. Feel free to reach out to your HCSS representative for more information or give us a call at any time.